A community coming together, honoring a life lost while demanding answers after a woman is beaten to death. Police found that woman in a parking lot and rushed her to the hospital. But sadly, in the end, she just did not make it. She was found badly beaten early Tuesday morning in the parking lot of Cooley High School on Hubble on Detroit's west side. Police have now identified that woman and her family just met our Sean Lay. Sean? Good evening, Sandra. Yes, police have made the positive identification now. The woman found behind the school here, Cooley High School on the west side, is Jody Taylor. She was only 24 years old, and as you say, we just met with Taylor's family right here behind the school. They have a very strong message for Jody's killer. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tears, prayers, and a hunt for a cold-blooded killer for the tight-knit family of Jody Taylor. Taylor was found viciously beaten Tuesday behind abandoned Cooley High School on the city's west side. She did not have any clothes on and later died from the awful attack. Susie Mann is Taylor's mother. Nobody would ever been able to tell me I would have thought that I would have been here today, let alone the day that it happened. Man is also blunt that she first lost Jody to crack cocaine and to the streets, known as Diamond out here on Finkel. Jody was on drugs, it, and I ain't ashamed to say it. It is what it is. A spade is a spade, and that's what I call. But she, this was her stroll. This was her neighborhood. Jody wasn't raised like that, but this is how Jody did. The path that Jody took was the one she wanted to take. And now she's lost her daughter again to a killer. The family says the person who beat Jody Taylor to death had no right to take her from the family who loves her so dearly. But do the right thing, because she didn't deserve what she got at all. Hey, Miss Jody, we love you, baby girl. We love you. Hey. We love you, Look. Jody. Look at him so much emotion out here late. So much emotion out here late this afternoon. The family tells me they're not done speaking publicly about this. They are planning a fundraiser to help with Jody Taylor's funeral costs coming up this weekend and on Sunday night, a much larger vigil for her. Sandra, yeah, your heart really goes out to the family. What is the very latest right now on the investigation? My sources tell me Detroit homicide detectives have been up and down Finkel just today finding some security camera video of Taylor walking with a man right before her body was discovered. They're trying to identify that man right now. All right. Thank you, Sean.